You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on the Fantastic Adventures of Unico. Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime, I'm going to be reviewing the 73rd anime title. This time, another anime from Osamu Tezuka for today's anime review which is none other than The Fantastic Adventures of Unico. Osamu Tezuka, who is among a lot of other things known for his highly pro prolific output in his lifetime, he's credited to having created over 700 different series. Some of them like became widely known, like, most significantly... Kimba the White Lion, Princess Knight, Astro Boy, Metropolis, Phoenix, and Blackjack, and were praised for their visuals, stor their stories, cinematic visuals, a vast ar array of colorful characters. He also created Unico, originally a manga, and then failed a, pi a failed pilot. The Fantastic Adventures of Unico, centuries around the titular Unico. A unicorn with the ability to bring joy into the lives of everybody he meets. The gods call upon the night wind to capture Unico. Oh, the n n kind west wind, however, he knows of this and takes him away somewhere. The night wind won't be able to find him. To protect him from the gods and the night wind, the west wind, she knows... The wet well, knows she must transport Unico away from place to place. The first place he lands is, is at the edge of the world, where he meets Bezel, the demon of solitude, who is loud and abrasive, abrasive I suppose. but is also just looking for somebody to hang out with. The two became good friends, but before long, the Nightwind finds Unico and has to disappear. Damn. That happens. Speaking of which, next he meets Katie or Chow, or whatever you want to pronounce it, a kitten who dreams of becoming a human witch. They find an old lady living alone in the woods, and Unico decides to turn Katie into a human. Which is one of his powers now. To help the elderly lady out. However, when Katie becomes an enchanted by the mysterious Baron de Ghost, a.k.a. Danshaku, who is known, voiced by Makio Inoue, who is known for the voice as Captain Harlock, who takes Katie a prisoner, Unico decides to help her out, and then Baron turns into a demon monster. But then, Bezel shows up to fight. So, I guess, as you might guess from that synopsis, there isn't a lot of substance to a Unico film. There are really two elements to consider here. Is there any anime? Is the animation any good? But I know it, the animation kind of reminds me from the 1980s Astro Boy anime, which ironically Astro Boy is becoming the the more popular because the Fantastic Adventures of Unico anime movie has to the extent of to the 80s Astro Boy anime because of the style from Osamu Tezuka. And just how cute it is? Let's talk about that later. The point first. From its first Europe piece of dialogue to its final cutesy song, let's get anyone involved some credit. They work so hard in making it just for the most adorable thing, and it pays off. From the little scampering animation to his big bug eyes to the sing-song voice actress. 
funny th little world we all live in, hasn't it? Speaking of which, for this anime... However, all this focus on making the cutest sort of horror surround means that something has to suffer. And it sure has, as hell isn't going to be the art. Instead, it's the plot, which goes nowhere and is as seen from the beginning to the end. It's obvious that this was supposed to be the TV to a TV e series, but it wasn't planned for a TV series. It's, that this was supposed to be a TV show based on the episodic nature of this film. Nothing links, which at least y means you don't have to con concentrate on anything for very long. It also means that by the time you get yourself a bit invested in whatever is happening, they moved on to something else. There is really one cool, cool but serious moment. I mean, damn. And that's when the Baron transforms into the he this hell beast like monster and battles Unico who transforms into the silliest looking but also most gorgeous looking horse thing ever to put to film. Waria's original recipe Unico looks like a teddy bear. This one looks like it maybe it was drawn by anime a horse if they ever but I know this movie is made by Osamu Tezuka. But maybe it, the sequence takes up the last portion of the film. Which just all s sort of ends afterwards. And is at least entertaining enough that it doesn't leave a bad taste in the mouth. The whole thing is hardly recommendable. There is a little consistency of Unico. Those powers and none of it matters, I suppose. Because after every adventure, he's just whisked away somewhere elsewhere. Anyway, it teaches nothing valuable to kids and leaves little desire to be the, for the adults. For what it's worth. It doesn't give any bad lessons, and it's so harmless that no one would have... Chick, sticking their kids in front of it. But clearly, there is some dark moment, like the battle between Unico and Baron, which is what you expect. I mean, damn, think of it, because it may have... Now, if this was Jungle Emperor Leo, then I would have been compelled to my previous anime review. But... Or the 1986 anime movie Arion. When it comes to like Greek mythology in anime movie, which one is the more popular? Which one is anime that is either anime that not that many talked about, or ones that have no about? But it's the Fantastic Adventures of Unico, the anime movie from Osamu Tezuka, I suppose. But for what is worth, it doesn't give any bad lessons, and so, a f as well as a few of you like it, based on entirely, which it gets to such a high point, that the horror battle at the end is a welcome change of pace. But for everyone else, it's a worth a miss. Tezuka has hundreds of other things you can be checking out. So, think of it. This anime movie was directed, was also known as, okay, the anime movie, The Fantastic Adventures of Unico, was directed by Toshio Hirata and Osamu Tezuka. And the Masaki Tsuji written this anime movie. Oh yeah, and the English cast of The Fantastic Adventures of Unico in the English dub is basically Cheryl Chase, Barbara Goodson. But in the Japanese version is Katsue Miwa, Ryoku, Ryuko, Kita Miya, Junko Hori, Makio Inoue, Kazuko Sugiyama, Iruka Iruka, Taiko Nakanishi, and Cheiko Baisho. 
Oh yeah, speaking of Makio Inoue, uh, hold on. Speaking of Makio Inoue, he is known for the voice as Captain Harlock in the Captain Harlock anime series, which ironically, Captain Harlock is owned by Me Leiji Matsumoto, and it also did loop. And he also did the voice for. Iwao Himura in the 1972 Devilman anime TV series from the 70s, as well as he did the voice for Albert in Candy Candy. And he's also known for the voice as Goemon Ishikawa in the Loop in the Third series. So, Fantastic Adventures of Unico was released in the United States of America in May 12, 1983. But it was released in Japan on March 14th, 1981, which is done, which is probably around the same year as Urusei Yatsura, but for as well as in, it's just probably one of those anime movies that came out in the 80s around the same year. And it's like within a year after the final episode of Lupin the Third Red Jacket series, I suppose. And the the studio and the and the, the animation was done by the anime studio Madhouse, who is known for Ninja Scroll, Wicked City, Demon City Shinjuku, and Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, which is this alien Devil Hunter Yoko and other titles as well. But for Fantastic Adventures of Unico, however, the music was done by Masahiko Sato. Because we all know this movie was directed by Tashio Hirata and Osamu Tezuka. And I considered it to become the best interesting movie that I've seen by far. Because this anime movie was made by Osamu Tezuka, who is known for Princess Knight, Astro Boy, Kimba the White Lion, also known as Jungle Emperor Leo, and as uh, uh, Metropolis and Blackjack as well. So basically, there are some mythologies in you have Greek mythology, but the character Bezel from the Fantastic Adventures of Unico is basically the young devil of solitude from Scottish mythology, part of Celtic mythology. When it comes to having mythologies in movies, because the TV series was not picked up, Unico soon made it to the silver screen in two feature-length feature films, produced by Sanrio and Tezuka Productions with the animation by Madhouse. Because I know it's probably how it works in the English dub for anime. Oh, at the end, winged, un the white-winged unicorn destroying the demonic cow skeleton monster that Lord the Lord had transformed it into. Afterwards, West Wind comes in to take Unico away again, and Katie moves in with an old woman. Forgot to mention the end of the Fantastic Adventures of Unico, which I forgot to mention in this anime review. So this concludes my anime review on the Fantastic Adventures of Unico. So that's going to be it for my anime review on the Fantastic Adventures of Unico. You guys, thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my quick thoughts about the Fantastic Adventures of Unico. This is probably the second o anime, particular Osamu Tezuka anime, which almost get me there to do another anime review on Astro Boy, which is going to be great with me. So, hope subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave it in the comment about your favorite Osamu Tezuka anime in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, RuronyK95. Feel free to join my channel. Click on my notifications bell button. Check out my other videos that I'm uploading as well because I'm doing some more anime reviews. And that's all I have to say. So keep it otaku for this anime review. And that's all I have to say. So this is RuronyK95 saying thank you for watching my anime review. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next anime review. And have a great day. This is RuronyK95 signing off. And thank you for watching my anime review on the Fantastic Adventures of Unico.